back at it for another day. We're on the combine. Combine and soybeans. Um, I didn't really record what's going on today. I left off that there was breakdowns and everything else. So it's one of those days where it was windy, cold. We fixed the breakdowns. What it was was a fan, speed adjustment rod that holds the bottom of the thing down. I'll get out and show you sometime. It might not be in this video, but sometime I'll show you. That broke. It just snapped right off right at where the lock nuts are on it. We thought it was really weird. It had already been fixed once, so by the looks of it, it might be a common issue on this thing, but um, what we did to fix it was took it from 3 8 drilled it out to half inch, and put a big half inch bolt through it, and welded that onto the rod so that fixed that issue uh, the other issue we were having was a flex head on this it wasn't allowing it to go down what we did was change the over here there's a switch box on the end of the head and we changed that from the uh, we changed the one from this head and we took the one off the other head and put on this head is what we did and that fixed the issue the only thing we're ha I'm having now as an issue is this head wants to bounce, like it, it's bouncing and so I don't know if it's a spring tension issue or a just, I haven't quite got it adjusted right, but that's what I've been working on. This is the first bit of beans we ran, so we got the end of this field off and I made a one round around the outside. Um, so we, uh, I mean the tank's not perfect yet. But it's a lot better than what it started out as. The beans aren't 20% like last night. Yeah, it's a lot better day uh, so far. Now I wish I would have been running at 2 o'clock like I was hoping, but, you know, it doesn't always work out that way. It's now 5.30, so we got one bin off. But beans look good in this field. They're running a lot better than I thought they were going to. They've probably seen 60-ish bushels at this end. 40-ish at the other end, depending on where we're at in the sand. But I mean, for here, that's pretty good, especially for this ground. Uh, that end of the, that side of the field is pretty much sand. And this side's actually really heavy. So that's a plus on that note. Uh, I'm gonna start off on this side, and hopefully get a truck shortly. Um, so yeah, right now, I'm just loading and we're gonna get started here in a minute. Alright, so it's just starting to get dark out. I mean it's not super dark yet, but it's starting to get there. Um just starting to make headway on the field. I am having an issue with our auger slipping. Uh grab tore that all apart and put a new sprocket on the end of it because the chain was so wore out and everything was wore out. So we had a sprocket made and everything else. But supposedly it's supposed to be torqued to 485 foot pounds. Well, the bolts aren't, but like they're supposed to be 485 foot pounds for slips. And we don't have a way of measuring that. So we're just kind of guesstimating and I don't have the tools with me to adjust it. but. When I get into the better beans, it's slipping and not frustrating, but there's not much we can do about it. So we're just gonna keep running, try to get this truck full, deal with it in the morning. Uh, that's pretty much how we're rolling tonight. Uh, we got a few small things like the head. Like I said, it's still bouncing. Um, I got some parts laying here on the floor. You can't see those, but uh, I thought I had fixed the stuff on the end, but must be the way this head bounces because of the way it's, well, I guess because of the way it's bouncing. It's just making everything loose. And that's why everything was apart the way it was. So, yeah, we're dealing, I'm dealing with that. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with how this thing's running. Uh, it's doing a really good job cutting close to the ground, getting all the beans. That's a plus. That's a big plus in my book. Um, now, I don't know if it's just the fact that these beans are, there's still a lot of green stems out here, honestly, um, for, I don't know, say the 30th, 29th, maybe it's the 29th of October. 
so I'm pretty, I'm really surprised on how uh, green these beans are. Usually we're very close to done running soybeans at this time and everyone in the area is just getting started so it's not a it's not a thing of oh we're just behind it's the fact that that's the bees are just now ready to go so yeah anyways we're cutting beans now uh yeah they just feed into the head hard uh they ball up on the edge of the knife kind of like what's gonna happen right oh they didn't do it but a wind system would help that quite a bit i think by blowing it back in the auger and also you know a draper head would work better too but uh we gotta have better beans more acres to justify that stuff all right so just finishing up here truck's got one more dump to put on it um it's just yeah, everything's running good uh we just run out of room in the truck yeah, I know there's lots of room you can see in the truck, but it just uh, doesn't quite uh, scale out right. I'm gonna say when you, uh, if you were to get pulled over, if you filled her full. So yeah, we try to avoid running loads, full loads across the or over to the mill, just because of uh, tickets. I don't want to give up a free load, you know, or not get paid for a load. As I say that because it's like DOT will nail you if you're a lot overweight. So, yeah, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. 